Is that a baby raccoon? When Rocket was just a baby, she got separated from her family. So, Katie decided to rescue her. She took Rocket home. Her plan was to take care of the raccoon for a day or so until a professional raccoon rescuer could take over. But every single shelter was closed. That's not good. Katie realized she had no choice. Her and her family would have to raise Rocket until they could release her back to the wild. But what do you do with a baby raccoon? First things first, food. They tried to feed her like a baby, with kitten milk in a tiny bottle. They probably didn't have raccoon milk at the store. But Rocket didn't want to drink from the bottle. If she didn't eat soon, she'd be in trouble. So Katie took a stuffed toy and soaked it with milk. Maybe Rocket would chew the toy and get the milk. She's eating. Weird way to feed a raccoon, but it definitely worked. Soon, she even learned to eat real food. She was like a member of the family. Life was good. But Katie knew that Rocket couldn't stay inside forever. She had to get the little raccoon ready to live in the wild. So, it was time for raccoon practice. Oh, good job. Like digging for bugs in the dirt. And I think they'll, they'll eat like worms and stuff and know that and climbing trees. Come on, Rocket, you can do it. Anyway, this is what you were made for. Whoop. She's still hanging on. And practicing fishing. It seemed like Rocket had gotten the hang of being a raccoon. But she was so used to people. Could she really live on her own outside? There was only one way to find out. Katie and her family let Rocket outside by herself. They weren't sure if it was goodbye or goodbye forever. But that night, Katie looked out at her backyard and saw two glowing eyes peeking back at her from a tree. Rocket had made herself a home right in Katie's backyard. Now they see each other almost every day, sometimes in very strange places. I'm not really sure how she got up there. Even though she knew how to live outside, Rocket didn't really want to go far. Especially when she could just eat dinner at home. She even plays with Katie's dogs. And shares treats with them. I mean, I think that is really cool. You see like two totally different species of animals and they're just like best friends. How often do you get to see a raccoon playing with dogs? When Katie first found her, Rocket was all on her own. And now, she's got the best raccoon life. Like she can bounce from two different houses whenever she wants. I mean, that raccoon doesn't have anything to not be happy about. Pretty, pretty good life. Help the kittens find the subscribe button.